Hey guys, welcome back into Mountain Dog Companion. Thanks for tuning in again. Today we're going to be talking about Demi and Jedi's litter um, of three boys and three girls. Everyone's doing absolutely great, coming along very well. Um, we got the three girls here in the group. These guys were born on June 30th, so they'll be five weeks old tomorrow. So probably by the time um, you're seeing this video, they'll be five weeks old. Um, but yeah, they're doing great. They'll be ready to go home around August 25th. Um, and like I said, there's three boys and three girls in this group and definitely getting some of that uh, Jedi trait uh, traits coming through here in this group. So big blocky European style stuff. Um, I'll definitely go through that here, but beautiful parents here for sure. Demi's a real sweetheart, absolutely wonderful. And then of course you guys know Jedi, um, very nice bulky blocky male. Um, this is a health tested clear litter. So they're really doing good. I'm super excited to see these guys come around um, and just going through excited to show these guys off for you. So uh, first up talking about the big girl out of the group. Her name's Dawn. She's hanging out in my lap here. Got the nice tuxedo look up front. Beautiful white stripe in between her eyes and the nice tan on the side of her face. Um, beautiful. She's, she's definitely the big girl. So a nice round blocky head, beautiful conformation, really nice look here for her. Um, see if I can show her tail for you. Um, it's a white tip tail for her. Nice white socks front and back and just a very sweet looking girl here for you to start things off. Um, she's probably the most laid back, the most calm. Right now she's a little bit on the timid side or a little bit more on the timid side, but I'm sure um, she'll gain a little bit more confidence as she uh, gets a little bit older and, and grows a little bit here in the next week or so. So super excited to see that. Next up is Darcy here. Um, she is one of the smaller girls, I would say the smallest girl out of the group but not, definitely not like running behind on anything. Um, she's still got a nice size. Um, you got the nice white socks in the back, a little bit of the tippy toes covered in the front, kind of a unique look here for her. Uh, beautiful tan on the front and back, and a little bit more tan on the face. I really like seeing that. She's got beautiful tan coming through on the side, nice eyebrows as well, and then that white stripe. She looks just like Jedi. Um, as far as the white stripe goes, just a nice um, straight line in between her eyes. So a really neat look. Um, and she is the adventurous girl out of the group. She's the more outgoing girl, um, the more, not, not necessarily energetic, but just doesn't mind roaming around, checking out new things um, and enjoys it while she's doing it. So um, again, guys, that's Darcy um, doing very well. We did have a little bit of a little bit of an issue with them chewing on each other's tails. So if you see a spot or two here and there, um, that's what that's from. Uh, they keep they keep playing with each other's tails, and it's kind of a um, something we're trying to correct and make sure it's okay. But they seem to be doing good, and it's healing great. So coming along well. Um, last but not least, um, we have Dana. Um, she's right in the middle when it comes to size. I'd say, if anything, leaning towards the bigger, blockier side of things. Um, just a nice size for her. Nice round head, of course, from Jedi there. Got the nice white blaze as well, and beautiful tan in between, or on the side of her face there. Going back, nice socks on the back. Beautiful socks up front, just kind of covering those tippy toes with a ton of tan on those legs. So really nice to see. Beautiful tan on the side of her face as well. And then you got the nice white tip tail too. So really coming through. One thing I've noticed about her, you can see some of that black's kind of creeping down to the bottom of her feet, um, which is kind of neat to see. It'll give her a different look. So you got a little bit of black here in the back, um, a little bit up front, just kind of showing through which I feel is very neat to see. I really like seeing that. So um, we got the girlies taking a nap over here, taking it easy. Um, but yeah, this is the girls here uh, from Demi's Litter and they're all doing great, so. Okay guys, so we're gonna go check out where these guys hang out most of the time, um, their play area. And I'll just show you guys where they're hanging out, all their toys, all their stuff going on out here. Um, everyone's just kind of hanging out. We got one hanging out in the crate back there. Just taking it easy. Um, and then we got two of the boys out here taking a nap. Um, they got all sorts of toys. You got the potty pad back here in the back uh, to start with that. Uh, kind of initial uh, mental stimulation as far as knowing 
where to go potty or they can't just go anywhere. Um, and then you got some interactive toys um, that make noises and lace and sounds and uh, just very neat to see. So yeah, we got the three boys out here taking it easy, having a good time um, in their play area. It's a nice, I would say probably eight by eight, by eight 10 by 10 area. Um, and we're actually getting turf in here, but right now a carpet will do. They're doing good with it. And then of course, um, we got all sorts of good stuff for their mental um, health and stability and stimulation and just all sorts of neat things we introduce at different ages. So really neat to see there. Uh, moving on here, I guess starting off with the boy. First boy out of the, out of the group, we got Davis. Um, Davis has a really neat size to him. I would say right in the middle. These two boys are probably a little bit bigger than him, but he's not. I would say he's very close to Dawn, uh, the biggest girl in the group. So really neat to see there. Got the nice white socks front and back, beautiful stripe in between his eyes. Nice tan coming through as well. Um, beautiful tan on the legs. And then you got a little bit of a white tip tail um, coming through. So very neat to see. And a beautiful guy here to start things off. Um, I would say he's also one of the more outgoing guys out of the group. Extremely people oriented. And he'll probably just climb in here. He wants me to, wants me to keep holding him. He'll just hang out right here. So um, again, guys, that's Davis. Let's see if I can resituate here and interrupt a nap um, real quick. This is a big dude. Um, probably, I would say the biggest. These two are kind of racing, uh, seeing who can be the biggest. Um, out of the group, but really nice size, beautiful look there, nice round head, almost looks like a teddy bear. What's up, buddy? What's up? Mm-hmm. Got the nice white blaze, nice tan coming through. Um, very neat look, I, I mean, coming straight from both parents. I mean, both are absolutely stunning, so you'll definitely get some stunning puppies here. Um, you got the nice white socks front and back, beautiful tan coming through and a nice white tip tail as well to top it off. So if you're curious about those noses, um, they will definitely turn black. Uh, normally it takes about, it typically happens between seven and 12 weeks. It's just a lack of pigment and it's very standard for Bernice Mountain Dogs um, to have those spotted noses. And it's just something that typically takes a couple weeks to blacken out. So again, guys, um, yeah, that was Denver. I just talked about him. He's chilling out here on the back on the potty pad. He just went potty. So we're trying to get that mental connection going on, uh, trying to get him moved over. So, um, but yeah, we got one more boy to talk about here. Last but not least, we got Dominic. He was just hanging out, almost standing up in my, in my lap here. Beautiful look again. Just a really nice size. I mean, absolutely stunning, blocky, looking like a teddy bear, just the way we like to see it. Um, really neat look. You got the nice white socks front and back, beautiful white blaze in between his eyes, nice tan on the side, tan points coming down the legs. Really neat look there for him. Um, no white tip tail for him, maybe a little bit, but not a lot going on there for him. So as far as the white tip tail, but very neat look. Again, these two boys, Denver and Dominic, are absolutely racing to get that first spot as far as the biggest boy, and I'm excited to see how that turns out. So, so again, guys, this is Jedi and Demi's litter. They're about five weeks old right now. They were born on June 30th, and this is um, a really, really sweet looking litter. It's super excited to see how these guys come around when it comes to socialization. You got Darcy pushing the pen back here. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Um, she's the adventurer out of the group, so she's definitely doing her thing. Um, but yeah, no, just a really neat litter here overall. Everyone's doing great. If you guys had a, uh, had a favorite in the group, let me know in the comment section below. For me personally, I always really like the big guys. Um, and for me personally, I like this little guy. Last but not least, for sure, uh, Dominic. But let me know which one's your favorite in the comment section below. Um, feel free to reach out to me. My name is Jay Miller here. My number is 330-234-0102. Thanks for tuning in today, and we'll see you next time.